Hey guys, how's it going? John Santos and welcome to this channel where we help entrepreneurs start and grow their business ASAP. Now in today's video, what I'm going to cover is the seven easy steps you can follow so you can launch your online store ASAP. So stick around. So I've been getting a lot of questions and I think there's a little bit of confusion as to like the process to actually launching an online store. So I've launched multiple other videos covering websites, your different options. And if you guys want to link to any of those, just click the description down below and you guys will see an expanded list of the videos that I have available on there. But I wanted to create this video for everybody out there that still might have a little bit of questions as far as like, okay, what does a website actually do? Or like, what steps do I need to take to collect payments? You know, so like all the basics that you may be wondering if you're wanting to launch a store like next week. You know, so I'm going to cover those really quickly. That way you guys have a really good overview as to what's involved with the website, what comes with it, what do you maybe need to go and outsource. All your basic questions will be answered right in this video. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. So the first step you need to take is choose your platform. You're going to need to decide what platform you want to launch your website on. Now there is free platforms such as Big Cartel, Etsy and all these other ones, but if you truly want to establish a brand and have full control over it, you're going to need to choose a platform to host your website and to also provide you with the tools that you need to launch your online store. So with that being said, I'm an advocate for Bluehost and I'm also an advocate for Shopify. Now I'm a little torn apart and you guys know that I talk about what will benefit you. So Bluehost is a low cost way to getting started. That means that if your budget is low, Bluehost is going to be the way to go. Because what they have is a package that allows you to pay for once a year and you're able to host your website and you have a full control over it. Now Shopify is for all those that are really willing to take this seriously, invest a little bit of money to get enhanced tools and easier workflow. Either way, both of those platforms are really well. Some people love to use the Bluehost and WordPress. Other people prefer Shopify. It's really up to you. But ultimately, if you want to move on to a platform, it's, it's really going to be between those two. The internet has voted and those are the top two dogs that are really killing the game right now and offering entrepreneurs all the tools that you'll need. So choosing your platform is the first step that's like choosing the home so now you need to choose the name of the home you need to choose the name of your website Bluehost offers the ability to buy a domain name on there as well and so does Shopify so once you choose a domain name whether it's www.revivebranco.com or www.mybrand.com whatever www name you want to choose you need to choose it and then you can associate it with the platform that you choose that way you have the links so you can create the marketing materials, you can establish your social media sites, and everything will be good to go for you to launch. So now that you have your platform and you have your domain, name, the third thing you're going to need to do is choose the theme of your store. Now don't go out there and spend thousands of dollars for somebody to design a website for you. There's so many people out there offering those services that a couple thousand dollars to start off is not the best investment, especially if you're just getting started and you're not really sure what you want. There's free themes available both on Bluehost and on Shopify that allows you to get started quickly and easily. That way you're not investing any more money than, than the photography, the products, and the time that it takes to create a very good looking website. All right, so you're gonna to need to choose the theme. Now there is other outside platforms that offer themes to buy, and that's a great option for anybody that wants something above and beyond the free stuff. Um, that's also available through the Shopify website, or it's also available on Envato, which has thousands of themes for you to choose from. So you can literally scroll through it and find something you're gonna love and it's gonna represent what you're selling. So themes can range anywhere from a couple dollars to a couple hundred, but if you go the free route, you can literally start a website for less than 50 bucks. You'll have full control of it and you'll be ready to go and start selling. Now the fourth step you're gonna need to do is edit your theme. Now most themes are plug and play. That means that you literally upload your photos, your descriptions, you choose your fonts, upload your product, and you're good to go. But if you want any kind of color controls or any kind of special unique offerings, there's a marketplace for that that allows you to outsource for these people to make those custom changes to you. Shopify has it available and so does Bluehost. And there's a community of people that will literally do the little changes that you're going to need without charging you an arm and a leg. But for the most part, guys, every theme that you start with should be enough for you to get started with. So don't necessarily think of customizing every little thing at this moment. Really take the time to, to photograph though, to create the visuals that you're gonna need, to create the graphics that you're gonna need. And with that in mind, you might consider looking into Fiverr. 
Fiverr will give you some freelancers for as low as five bucks or Upwork, which allows you to outsource some design work. So then that way you're able to communicate with the freelancer that'll create the front imagery. Very important that you create a really good aesthetically pleasing website, especially if you're just starting out. Um, take some time into it, either do it yourself or outsource it to somebody that's good. Uh, ask for outside opinion too because you might think it looks pretty good, but as soon as you get it to somebody that has a good design knowledge, design eye, they're gonna say, dude, what are you doing? You know, so like, don't always overtake that process because at the end of the day, that website theme and how it looks and how you present it, it's gonna be your store, and if you wanna make money, it needs to look good. All right, guys, so that's gonna be the fourth step for you guys to take is to edit your theme. So the fifth thing you're gonna to need to decide on is the pricing and payments. So luckily for you, you don't have to manually process any of the transactions yourself. Like when somebody goes on the internet and wants to buy something, they're not buying it from you. Like you're not processing the payment. There's a third party involved, whether it's PayPal, whether it's Stripe, whether it's Shopify, whether it's Amazon, there's a lot of plugins that come into when you're creating your site. So there's gonna be payment plugins that you choose. So that's the third party that collects the payments. So don't think that you have to oversee the process and invoice customers for their orders or whatever that is. Like the website itself comes with its built-in system or plugins that allow you to do all that. So that way the buyer and you are both protected. You know that you're getting funds, the buyer knows that he's not getting scammed by somebody. So in this step, you're gonna to need to set the price points for your products. You're gonna need to set how much inventory is available for those products and you're going to need to connect your payment system to it that way it's a seamless checkout and everybody can go onto your site see how much it costs buy it you get the money in your bank so now the sixth step that you're going to need to take is figure out your shipping if you want your website to automatically calculate the shipping cost it does cost a little bit more if you want it to automate the process but if you're just starting out i recommend that you head over to usps.com that's usps.com and they have flat rate boxes so if you're selling apparel if you're selling anything that's a smaller size go on to the usps.com website and figure out what dimension will fit your product nicely because they have flat rate boxes and what that means is they can go across the country and across the world for a set price so figure out what that set price is for your products and then add that as part of the cost to your checkout option. So then that way you're collecting for shipping. As soon as the payments come in, you can print off your label, ship the box, and you're good to go. One thing I would say is don't go crazy with the shipping costs and try to make more money on the shipping costs. Like it's always better to pretty much eat the shipping costs. That way somebody checks out your product and they get to wear it, they get to use it. Because I've seen so many times, guys, the websites that are pretty much like they'll charge you $25 for shipping. And it's like, dude, it's just going across the the country you know your shipping cost is probably eight or nine you know and they want to make extra money on it it doesn't make any sense don't do it get it as low as you can get it because that's the way you're going to get customers you know if you're selling a shirt for 25 and now you have 15 or 20 dollars on shipping they're not going to buy it you know you're just starting off so try to do it as minimum as you can still cover your cost though so usps.com is a good option for you to do a flat rate shipping but still consider ups and FedEx when it comes to bulk items, when it comes to bigger boxes that you may need to ship out that USPS doesn't have good pricing on. Cool, so now you have your shipping, you have your payments, you have everything decided, and now what do you gotta do? The seventh step is to sell and start getting paid. So what you're gonna need to do is, you have to set up your bank account, whatever bank account you decide on will be your business account, you connect it to your website, that way payments can go and be deposited into your bank account and then you can go and use that money to buy more inventory for your marketing dollars and continue growing your business. More importantly guys, when you're ready to have this website launched and already selling products, you need to focus on the sales, focus on getting traffic to it, focus on people going to it, clicking on it, figuring out why people aren't checking out, you know, so like it's always going to be a constant work, but you're constantly working to make it better. So I hope these steps help paint a clearer picture of what it takes to launch a website. I know sometimes it can be overwhelming and there's a lot of information out there and sometimes it doesn't get connected. So I hope that these seven steps allowed you to take a look at it, step back, have a breather and be able to realize that okay I can do this you know and always use the links in my description in my videos I'd really appreciate that if you're already gonna buy any of these website services or anything I recommend 
use my links down below because there is a small credit that they give to me that helps me continue producing more videos and helps me sharing my knowledge so i'd really appreciate that guys it doesn't cost you anything extra it's the same price they just give me a little small commission on it i just want to make sure that you guys are in a know of that and if you could do me that favor i always appreciate it if you have any questions comment down below or hit me up on instagram snapchat and let's get to going let me know what you got in mind and i'll continue answering be on the lookout for new videos once a week I'm trying to launch them every friday but i may even launch them friday and sunday um, so just be on the lookout i'm organizing the whole entire channel that way you guys get some better content and continue to grow your business all right guys stay in touch and let's talk soon bye